Hey guys! So a bunch of you asked me to review this Cho Cheese or Chow Cheese. Uh, I could not find it in my area, but I decided to contact the company Field Roast and ask if they would send me some, and they said yes. So this is not a sponsored video, but a free thing. I didn't pay for any of this. I did get this for free, just to let you know, full disclosure. Uh, yeah, so they sent me, I believe these are the only three flavors that they have, the creamy original, tomato cayenne, and coconut herb, which is very weird. <laughs> like, they all have coconut in them. They're soy and coconut based. Um, yeah, I don't know. That just doesn't sound very good to me as a flavor. It sounds really weird. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try all of these, and I guess I'll start with the, uh, original. Oh, okay. So these, this is how they're packaged, just like this. They're not individually wrapped. I figured they would have like some paper in between them, but they don't, but they don't stick together. They come apart pretty well. So I actually really like that. Um, it's really cheesy to me, but I really like it. It reminds me of um, Munster cheese, which I used to eat a lot of. It's a very mild cheese, kind of like a mozzarella, maybe a little bit stronger. Um, it's very similar to that. It's, it's really good and the texture is really good. Yeah, that is surprisingly really awesome. I am, uh, I'm really surprised. I was not excited about these really because as many of you know, I'm not a huge fan of cheese, but that is awesome. That's, that's the best vegan cheese uh, I've ever had. Okay, uh, next one, I guess I'll try the coconut herb. Yeah, as you can see, it comes apart uh, pretty easily. I like that too. That's really good. It's mild and uh, a little herby, not like crazy herby like the Miyoko's, which I didn't really like. Um, not really sharp at all. A little bit of coconutty, I guess, but that's actually really nice. It's really good. Okay, last one. The uh, tomato cayenne, again, comes apart really easily. That one's not for me. It's kind of like a, a some kind of spicy cheese <laughs> slices I've had before. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but whatever it is, it tastes like that. Um, yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah, that one's a little weird. It's a, a tiny bit spicy. It's not super spicy. Um, I don't really care for that flavor, but the original and the coconut herb are both really good. That's really surprising. Okay, so now since I did it with the follow your heart, I'm going to try and see how these melt. It does seem to melt uh, pretty well, like the uh, follow your heart that also melted pretty well. Although I would say uh, I'd like these better than the follow your heart, these two. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is like one of the only cheese I like. I've said before I like the day eggs. It doesn't really taste like cheese. This does taste like cheese, but it's very, very mild cheese, which is what I like. So yeah, this was a nice surprise. Oh, in terms of nutrition, like all of the cheeses, it's not a healthy thing. It's a junky thing. Like I said, these are mostly coconut and soy, uh, fairly high in saturated fat, 60 calories per slice, uh, four grams of saturated fat per slice. And that's the same for all of these. Uh, so yeah, it's just nice little junky thing. If you want a treat, if you want a grilled cheese or some cheese on like a taco or something. I don't I guess that'd be kind of weird for tacos. Uh, like a sandwich with cheese or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to know if you've tried these and if you like these. A lot of you seem to really like these as well as the Kite Hill brand, I think it was. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe, of course, do that. If you want to support me, do that as well at uh, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan or here on YouTube on my channel page. Thanks again, guys, and I will have a new video very soon.